As Steph said yesterday, I just want to take a minute as well before I start my video to say rest in peace Monty Ohm. And I have all my prayers and condolences out to family members and friends of him out there in this hard time. He seemed like a really influential man, very work-centered, and from what I could tell he seemed like a very powerful man too. Not in the power of sense like, oh, do this, do that, but he seemed to set goals and he would achieve them. I've only known about Monty Ohm for about a year or so, seeing his work through Red vs. Blue and Ruby, and I can say he's actually influenced my life a lot. After seeing his work, it kind of gave me this idea to try animation out myself, and currently, because of him, I'm taking animation, hoping to maybe one day become better and do the same kind of amazing work he did. You've created an amazing community, Monty Ohm, for the Ruby fandom, the Red vs. Blue fandom, and just anyone out there. And I just want to say thank you for all the hard work you put into the, your videos and your work, and just all the people that you've made happy throughout the years. So thank you, Monty Ohm, and rest in peace. <laughs>
stupid, stupid series, but it's so funny at the same time. So I definitely check that one out. The last anime series I highly recommend is the Higurashi no Naku Koroni series, also known as When They Cry, or When Cicadas Cry, or something like that. Basically it's like a murder mystery kind of anime, where every, a group of friends live in a small town, and actually time relapses over and over, and someone dies each time. It gets to the point where one of the characters notices what's going on in the world, and tries to stop time from redoing itself over and over so that she can save all her friends. And it's a really, it's a very, very gory anime. So if you're like not into the gore and kind of things like that, I highly recommend not checking it out. But if you're interested in that and mystery and like things like that, I definitely say you should check that one out. One last anime that I highly recommend is actually a movie. It's called Metropolis, if you've never heard of it. It's basically where it's a big futuristic city and known as Metropolis. The movie's about this city where basically they've developed robots so much to where they're like every part of everyday life and it gets to the point where robots are treated poorly. So you, you can kind of get it. It's like robot revolution kind of thing and stuff like that. But at the same time, there is a detective and his son who come to town to scoop out some kind of theory that's going around, rumor that's going around about some like cyborgs and like this like big problem going on. Well, this big in industry develops a uh, robot girl. And it's like the first of her kind or something like that. And they think, oh, it'll widen our technology and like all this kind of stuff but it turns out the big corporation wants to use her for something else and basically the boy and the girl robot like fall in love with each other and it's like this whole adventure thing and a lot goes on but it's a beautiful movie it has that old astro boy kind of look so they're like kind of like bubbly and stuff like that and it's like a really cute animation but at the same time it's like so detailed and so beautiful i highly recommend that movie if you've never seen it lastly before this video ends i got a few games to talk about so we're going to talk about those now. So games we got coming out this week are Apotheon, Apotheon, I forget, Criminal Girls Invite Only, Kickin' Fennec, Spongebob Hero Pants, Death Trap, Ancient Planet, Astray, Darkest Dungeon, Mystery Masters Psycho Train Deluxe, Pizzarian, Pizza, a Pizza Race or something like that, Pizza Planet, Rise of Incarnates, Super Pixelo, Terra Incognita Chapter 1, Totem, Totem, T-O-T-M, that's how you spell it. Crash Blander, Ephemerid, A Musical Adventure, Front Office Football 7, Grow Home, Stay Dead Evolution, To Be or Not To Be, Castle in the Darkness, Fractured Soul, Blood, Blob Bloop Reloaded, Crystal Story 2, Pixel Heroes Bite and Magic, or Bit and Magic, Yubi Noda, Reverse Side, Samudai, and Star, Stod Soft Synthetic World. Yeah. <sighs> so a lot of hard words. So that's the end of this video. Make sure you guys comment below any games you're interested in or any anime recommendations that you have. Uh, make sure you check out our YouTube channel, our Facebook page, and all the rest of the beautiful geeks of the week. Bye guys!